this photo behind me and think, what do you see? As you can see, this is a painting of a vase. The vase is fallen and it's also cracked. However, look at the flowers, how they have bloomed to life and how shiny they are and colorful they are. Well, that vase is me. I am Rawa Jalizada. I am going to tell you the story of how I became an artist. In 2010, I got accepted in the University of My Dreams. I was so happy that year. I finished it successfully, I mean the, the first year. And in that same summer, I went to summer school in Europe. It was, it was my first time. So I was simply living the time of my life. And when I would have spare time, I would paint sometimes or I would write. But I would only keep it for myself. See this painting? I painted this a long time ago. If you notice it, it does not have my signature on it. This is because I was simply not confident. I used to think that painters should be super professional or they should have a degree in their major. So I went to my uh, second year in college. Of course, the subjects were more difficult. And there was this subject that I failed in. I failed, my major was uh, politics and I failed in statistics. I was very, very sad. How could this happen to me? How could I fail? I had never ever failed in anything in my life. I was always the good student. Uh, the good student was praised by her teachers. And now I'm going to do a second trial. But again, in my spare time, I would paint, but only keeping it for myself. So I went for the second trial, and um, again, I failed in the same subject. Now, that meant I was not only going for the second trial, this meant that I was going to redo the whole year. This meant that I lost a year of my education. And again, words cannot describe how devastated I was. Uh, at times, my friends would uh, uh, visit me and they would see my art. They were surprised. They told me, Rawa, why don't you publish them? But again, I didn't really have that confidence. So, this is my... Excuse me. This is my uh, third year in college but I'm still in, in, in second grade, and I'm having my final examination. Like, this was the last chance for me. I did the last exam and impatiently waited for my results. Uh, I remember this autumn evening, I had received, uh, I had received an email from my college department, and I rushed through the words, desperately looking for the word that you have passed, but instead, this is what I remember. I remember it said, dear student, blah, blah, blah. You are not qualified enough, blah, blah, blah. And there it is. I saw the word. It said, you are terminated. I got dismissed of, out of college. Now you can only imagine in this society of ours, in this conservative culture, for a female to be dismissed in college, it's quite big. And not only that, I come from a well-known family. My great-grandfather was the first Kurdish man who sent his daughter to school. And my grandfather was a very famous thinker and writer. And now, 
the grandchild of this family is dismissed in college. Words cannot describe again how devastated I was. This was big for me. Now, don't worry, no explosion is going to happen. <laughs> um, for months, uh, I was depressed. I would lock myself in my room trying to avoid and hide from people's questioning eyes. Why did she got dismissed? Was she a troublemaker? But then something happened. An explosion happened <laughs> inside of me. It was like a volcano erupted inside of me, but that volcano was not out of anger or rage. No, it was something else. It was art. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Well, <laughs> I had the need to express myself more. I had to express more. So I spent more time painting, I spent more time writing, and I promised myself something. I said, Rawa, this pain and sorrow is not going to kill you. You are turning your pain and sorrow into art. And this is what I exactly did. Now, with determination, and the more time I spent on my art, my skills got better. And I, for the first time, I painted uh, a real family. This is a real family. It's a real painting of a real family. So my skills really got developed, and I was really happy for that. Uh, and at this stage, um, I opened, I finally publicized my works. I opened uh, my own web website and Facebook page, and later an ex Instagram account under the name Rawa Jalizada. And in 2016, oh, sorry, the, um, this is my great grandfather. Um, he was called the great clergy, and um, in Kurdish, they call him Malai Gauri Koya. This is the man who, the first man. <laughs> Thank you. So the great grandchild of this personality got dismissed in college. <laughs> it was really difficult. Next, please. And this is my grandfather, Mohammed, uh, Mas'ul Muhammad. So, Finally, in 2016, I opened my first exhibition. It was a big ste step because in that very uh, exhibition, I uh, started selling my works. And then after that, I took another step, which was to um, sell my works online. So it was as if, um, Painting alone and writing alone were not enough for me to express. I recently started working with clay. Now I'm, I'm, uh, I'm doing sculptures. As you can see, this is one of my first sculptures. It's a, it's a sculpture matched with a, a painting. Uh, the woman has broken arms, but her head is a flower. And behind her is an imaginary wings this means you can always dream. Thank you. Well, still, I did not stop there. Um, only a, a couple of weeks ago, I came up with another idea. I said, I'm going to put my paintings on T-shirts. <laughs> Next, please. So this is my newest small business. Now I am selling t-shirts of Rawa Jalizada's paintings. 
Thank you. Today, I have a degree in law. I am a painter, sculptor. <laughs> I'm currently working on my uh, novel. All that means um, sometimes failure is a big reason for, for success. Before I leave you, please, please remember that a fallen vase can still have its flowers sprout. Thank you so much.